Hey, what's up? Today I am going to show you how to do a relative compression test using a lab scope. I'm using the Snap-on Modus Edge and a Snap-on Low Amp Probe. You want to set your amp probe to 60 amps? Now I'm doing this test on a 91 Miata and it does not matter what kind of car, what year, anything. This goes just very general for any car. Since the battery is in the trunk on this, I just have to amp clamp this positive battery terminal. So for reading your amperage, you either need to clamp the starter wire or all the positive wires coming off of the battery or all the negative wires coming off of the battery. This will let us get a reading of every amp that's going from the battery to the starter when we're trying to crank it over. Now we're gonna set up the parameters on the lab scope. Scope multimeter. Lab scope. We're gonna go to the two channel lab scope. So for channel one, which is what we're running our amp clamp on, we wanna be at a two volt scale. You're gonna do this just like a normal compression test. You're gonna shut off fuel, keep your throttle body all the way open and crank it over. So gas pedal all the way to the floor. Okay. All right, so now we have our reading for our relative compression test. All these little bumps are how much amperage the starter takes to turn over that exact cylinder. So this first, this first line right here, let's say that's cylinder one, then it goes the next one, the next one, the next one, and that one's back around. So every fourth bump is the same cylinder. So if one of these was low on compression, one of these bumps would miss. So what I'm gonna do is take a spark plug out and do this same test and show you guys what it's like if you had low compression on one cylinder. All right, now I have one of the spark plugs out, pretty much signaling that there is a dead cylinder in this motor. There will be no compression on that cylinder. You can actually hear how it cranks over different when there's a dead cylinder too. So you gotta make sure that your battery is fully charged so you have a consistent crank so you can get good readings. Now you can see where those two lines I put. You can see dead cylinder, compression, 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 dead cylinder. So that right there is a dead giveaway that one of the cylinders in this motor is dead. So the reason that you can tell that there's no compression there is because the starter doesn't take any amperage to turn the motor over when there's nothing keeping it from going, which is the compression, you know? So it doesn't have to overpower that compression to turn the motor over with amperage from the starter. So it really only takes that little bit of amperage to turn the motor over. When you're making compression, it takes that much. But let's say a motor where it's a V6 where the back three are against the firewall and you don't want to tear everything out to do a compression test. This is an easy way to get a relative compression test. So if your motor is evenly down on compression across the board, this won't help you. But if you're misfiring on a cylinder and you don't know if it's spark, fuel, compression, you can knock out compression pretty easily by doing a test like this. Now, if you need to figure out what cylinder is actually misfiring, the second channel here, you can hook up on the same scale and you can back probe one of your ignition coils or however you're gonna do it to figure out what cylinder is firing right there. Then you just look up your firing order and you can assign every bump what cylinder it is on the motor. So let's say this is cylinder two. You know that cylinder two is misfiring. You don't even have to put a wrench on the motor at all. You just amp clamp it and start it. I'm still learning this stuff myself. I'm really trying to practice and get good at it because it is functional and it does help me save some time sometimes. So there's our little lesson on how to do a relative compression test using a lab scope and an amp clamp. So. If you have any comments, questions, you think you know a way to make it easier for me, let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.